Oh, okay. So, oh my gosh. Impromptu body piercings, dares gone wrong, and what exactly is this red stuff right there? Today, we are back at it, breaking down and reacting to all of the medical scenes and over-the-top injuries from the highly popular YouTube channel, I Show Speed. Speedy sometimes gets a little loud in terms of yelling. You may want to turn down your volume just a bit. Let's dive right in. Oh! When somebody gets hit on the lateral aspect of the head, the biggest thing you always worry about is abrasions, lacerations. Those are your first things. Then you think possible skull fractures if there's enough injury. Oh, okay. So, oh my gosh. So he's bleeding in the mouth. If you get hit in the head and your mouth is open and it causes you to clench right away, you're going to get cut by your own process. So you're going to bite your tongue, you're going to bite your cheek. But in general, if you get trauma to your brain, there wouldn't be a specific reason why you're actually bleeding out of your mouth. It doesn't work that way. His behavior, I don't know how to explain that. If somebody has brain trauma and injuries, you could be somnolent, you can be out of it, you can stop breathing and you can be super quiet. Or you can be hyperactive, not making sense, confused. So it's a huge spectrum of symptoms that can happen. I don't know if he has braces on or not, I can't tell. But for me, when I used to have braces, abrasion, brush to the, your mouth or the side of your cheek could actually cut your cheek and cause some bleeding. So that's another thing just to think about. So if he's actually in pain and he did bite down on his tongue, he needs to get to the urgent care, to the ER to be evaluated. Majority of the time, the tongue laceration injury, if it's small, will actually heal on its own and you don't need to repair it. It'll heal within 24 to 48 hours. The death nut challenge. Death nut challenge, what is this? Whoa, 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 I gotta pause that and take a look at that back. The hottest peppers, oh my gosh. I wonder if there's just a ton of sprayed on hot sauce. It's got a burning skull. I'm assuming it's going to be horribly hot. Oh, is this eating them? Oh my gosh, you know it's a delayed onset horribleness. Work through it, buddy. Work through it. <laughs> Try to focus. You're having like a full body response of the burning flavor in your mouth, down your esophagus, into your stomach. Do you get a stomach ulcer from this stuff? I actually haven't seen anybody come in specifically with stomach ulcers, but people are eating a lot of hot foods and they do get gastrointestinal issues. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he looks like so much pain. We see some blood coming out of his mouth. Did he bite his lip? Did it cause the gums to start bleeding a little bit on the right side? Or could this be not real blood? Faker! I don't know, but you could definitely have some bleeding in your mouth. Watch this. Watch this. Watch, no okay, it's a Look helium this. tank, I believe, no or for balloons, drink. right? Look so helium drink. is a type of gas that's light, so that's why the balloons were able to fly. But people will try to inhale or breathe in some helium to mess with your own vocal cords. Lonely, I have nobody. If you actually inhale too much helium, it actually can cause uh, hypoxia and you can actually die from asphyxiation where you're actually not getting any oxygen into your system. This is actually quite serious, so please do not do that. I feel like it. Yeah, typically when somebody's about to pass out, you will have symptoms of feeling tingly. You might see stars, you actually might have tunnel vision, and you're gonna feel quite lightheaded. I tell people in that circumstance to just lay down flat on the ground to make sure you're getting enough blood flow to your brain, and then just take nice, good, deep breaths. Bro, my eyesight is messing up right now. I'm turning green. Oh my goodness, bro. Go breathe some air, bro. Breathe air. Oh, good. At least somebody in his live comments are saying, hey, breathe air. Just continue to breathe oxygen through the normal air. What is the percentage of oxygen in normal air? About 21%. The most of it actually is nitrogen. About to give myself a nose piercing, y'all. Right. Nose pierce yourself? Or if you're going to do a nose pierce, any piercing. Make sure it's clean. So and sterile as possible, know where you got it from. I actually don't advise you to do this yourself. You may do it wrong, you may stop halfway through. Gosh, please be careful. Three, two. Gotta do it quick. Gotta do it fast. 
Oh my God, it burns. Okay, burns. well, we have potential bacteria on our skin everywhere just because it protects us from the environment. So when you actually poke a hole through your skin, you're inoculating yourself or putting that potential bacteria into your tissue and increasing your risk of having cellulitis, which is a medical word for infection of your skin. Ow! You mean do it fast, man? Yeah. All right, come on, speed, baby. Speed gay! So the tough part is he's talking. As you talk, your nose moves because of where it is attacked on your face. I would be very still if I was doing this. Oh my gosh, he is sweating. He is sweating. He's uncomfortable. He doesn't want to do it. There's got to be a huge mental component of doing self-injections, doing you know, needles to yourself. That's a hard thing to do. Our bodies are not made to cause self-inflicted pain. An obvious defense mechanism that we have that we're not supposed to do that. It's got a wonderful defense mechanism. Oh! Damn! burns and it hurts. So it hurts and it burns because there's now a new hole in your face. I wonder if this mechanism that he has is almost like ones that we use at work where if you fully push it through, it retracts when it's done. Versus if you partially do something, it actually hasn't completed the mechanism that it was designed to function as and then it's still hanging there. I can't push it out! Some parts of your nose obviously are cartilage. It takes a very long time to heal if it does at all because you have decreased blood supply to those areas. Thus, if it gets infected, it gets very hard to then treat it. Y'all ready for the cinnamon challenge? Oh no. <laughs> cinnamon challenge, it's been around for a very long time. You have to take a spoonful of cinnamon, try to get it all down within 60 seconds without drinking any water, anything like that. I do not recommend the cinnamon challenge. If I like, can't breathe, CPR, you know how to do CPR? CPR is based chest compressions to beat somebody's heart for them when their heart has stopped or has gone into a non-perfusing rhythm. So if he's having trouble breathing but his heart hasn't stopped, please don't do CPR. I can't like, if I'm like, I can't breathe then like, like, yeah, like, yeah, like do the, like, <laughs> hold from the back and put your arms on your stomach. The reason you would do the Heimlich maneuver is if you're choking to which the object that's causing you to choke is occluding your airway. If you're having trouble breathing and there's nothing blocking, a Heimlich maneuver is not going to be beneficial and it's probably gonna cause more issues. You have an erection right away, bad idea. Okay, the cinnamon dries out your mouth really fast and it can cause you to cough, it can cause you to vomit, it can cause serious irritation, burning and pain. When you cough, if it goes out, that's fine. That's a normal response of our bodies and our lungs to expel whatever the issue is. But sometimes when you cough, you actually then take a big deep breath in thereafter, which increases the risk of aspirating or breathing in the cinnamon into your airways, which is now gonna cause an irritation. Now, these cups are actually very good to react to. They bring up good medical topics and things maybe to avoid. If you guys want me to continue to react to some of the things and challenges that he does, please let me know in the comments. Please don't do this stuff yourself. Don't increase your risk of having any injuries. Definitely check out this playlist right here. Make sure you binge watch everything. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, hit that like button, and tell all your friends about my channel. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.